My dear brothers and sisters, have you ever found yourself facing adversaries that seem insurmountable? Perhaps you've encountered challenges that loom larger than life itself, leaving you feeling overwhelmed and powerless. In those moments of uncertainty and fear, it's natural to question why God would lead us into battles against enemies seemingly bigger, stronger, and better equipped than we are. In Deuteronomy 20, verse 1, we're reminded of the reality of facing formidable foes. When you go to war against your enemies and see horses and chariots and an army greater than yours, yet in the midst of our doubts and fears, God offers a profound reassurance. Do not be afraid of them, because the Lord your God will be with you. Pause and let that truth sink in. The God of the universe, the creator of all things, promises to be with us in the midst of our battles. He is not a distant deity who watches from afar. Rather, he is Emmanuel, God with us. This changes everything about our perspective. It transforms our fears into faith, our doubts, into confidence, and our weaknesses into strengths. Friends, I bring you good news today. You do not have to fight your battles alone. God is here, ready and willing to fight on your behalf. He declares, you will not have to fight this battle. Can you imagine the weight lifted off your shoulders when you realize that the battle belongs to the Lord? So, I implore you to relinquish control to surrender your struggles and anxieties to the one who holds the universe in his hands. Stand firm in faith, knowing that the God who parted the seas, silenced storms, and conquered death itself is fighting for you at this very moment. As we journey together in this sermon, let us open our hearts and minds to receive the divine word of God. And stay tuned until the end for we will join in a powerful prayer of surrender, releasing every burden and obstacle into the hands of our Almighty God. Before we dive into the reasons why we should surrender our battles to God, let us take a moment to uplift our spirits and draw strength from His promises. In Psalm 55, verse 22, we are reminded to cast your burden on the Lord, release it, and he will sustain and uphold you. He will never allow the righteous to be shaken. Pause for a moment and visualize yourself standing before the throne of Almighty God. Imagine placing that burden, that heavy weight pressing down on your heart, beside him. Can you see it? That thing which feels like it's going to consume you? But here's the truth. There's nothing too hard for God. There's nothing he cannot do. The temptation we face when we're in challenging places is to question why, how, and when God will make a way out of it all. But we must come to accept that God's ways are higher than ours. He chooses the foolish things of the world to shame the wise, the weak things to shame the strong. My dear brothers and sisters, when we face the troubles of life, let us remember that God sees everything. He knows everything. He sees the past, the present, and the future. He sees the enemy's attacks, our weaknesses, and our flaws. God sees so much more than we ever will. So instead of spending our energy seeking answers, let us follow the guidance of Philippians 4 verses 6 and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. In every situation, pray about it. Offer thanksgiving to the Lord. And most importantly, present your requests to God. Let Him know where you are, what you're feeling, what you're thinking, your failing marriage, your dwindling pension funds, your health. 
Whatever it is that keeps you up at night, give it to God today. When you do, the Bible promises us a peace that transcends understanding, a peace that only God can provide. So, are you ready to give your fight to God? Stick with us as we reveal important reasons why you should do so, right here, right now. As we embark on this journey of understanding why we should surrender our battles to God, let us first explore the concept of God's sovereignty. In Deuteronomy 20, verse 1, we are presented with a scenario where the Israelites faced adversaries with horses, chariots, and armies greater in number than their own. It's a situation that seems daunting, overwhelming, and beyond their capacity to overcome. Perhaps you've encountered similar situations in your own life, challenges that appear insurmountable, obstacles that tower over you like giants. In those moments, it's natural to wonder why God would lead us into battles against enemies who seem bigger, stronger, and more equipped than we are. But here's the truth. God's sovereignty means that He is in complete control of all things. As Psalm 24 verse 1 declares, The earth is the Lord's and everything in it. There is nothing that escapes His authority or falls outside the scope of His power. Just as He parted the Red Sea for the Israelites, God has the power to overcome any obstacle in our lives. When we acknowledge God's sovereignty, we recognize that our battles ultimately belong to Him. They are not ours to bear alone, but are entrusted into the hands of the one who created the heavens and the earth. Just as he guided the Israelites through the wilderness and led them to victory, God promises to lead us triumphantly through our own trials. So, my dear friends, let us release our burdens into the capable hands of our sovereign God. Let us trust in his divine plan and his unwavering faithfulness. For when we surrender our battles to God, we align ourselves with His will and His power. And in His sovereignty, we find strength, courage, and the assurance of victory. The second reason why we should give our battles to God lies in His unfailing promises. Throughout the pages of Scripture, we find countless examples of God's faithfulness to His people. From the days of old to the present moment, his promises have stood the test of time, offering hope and encouragement to all who trust in him. In Joshua 1 verse 9, we witness the Lord's reassurance to Joshua as he prepares to lead the Israelites into the promised land. These were not mere words of comfort. They were a divine commission, a charge to embrace courage in the face of adversity. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Imagine the scene. An inexperienced leader standing on the threshold of uncertainty, tasked with leading a nation into unknown territory. Yet, amidst the daunting challenges ahead, God's promise of his abiding presence served as an anchor for Joshua's soul it was a reminder that he was not alone, that the Almighty God would go before him, fighting on his behalf. Throughout history, God has proven himself faithful to his promises time and time again, from the covenant with Abraham to the deliverance of the Israelites from Egypt, from the provision of manna in the wilderness to the resurrection of Jesus Christ. His word has never failed. So, when we face trials and tribulations in our own lives, let us cling to the promises of God with unwavering faith. Let us remember His faithfulness in times past and trust in His unfailing love for us. For in His promises, we find the strength to persevere, the courage to press on, and the assurance of victory. The third reason why we should give our battles to God is found in His infinite strength. In Philippians 4, verse 13, we are assured, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. 
This powerful declaration reminds us that our strength does not come from our own abilities or resources, but from the indwelling power of God himself. Consider the timeless tale of David and Goliath, a classic example of God's strength working through an ordinary individual. In ancient Israel, the Philistine army had gathered for battle against the Israelites and their champion, Goliath, a towering giant of exceptional strength and ferocity, stood as a symbol of their dominance. Faced with this formidable adversary who taunted the armies of Israel day and night, the Israelites were gripped with fear and dismay. But amidst the ranks of the trembling soldiers stood a young shepherd boy named David. Armed with nothing but a sling and a handful of stones, he stepped forward in audacious faith, ready to confront the giant who defied the armies of the living God. In that pivotal moment of crisis, David's confidence was not in his own prowess or military might, but in the God who had delivered him from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear while tending his father's sheep. His past experiences of God's faithfulness and deliverance served as a foundation for his unwavering trust in the present circumstance. With a heart steadfast in faith, David declared to Goliath, You come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied, 1 Samuel 17, verse 45. And with a single well-aimed stone propelled by the power of God, David struck down the mighty giant, securing a decisive victory for the people of God. The story of David and Goliath serves as a powerful testament to God's strength working through the weak and the ordinary. It reminds us that no obstacle is too great, no challenge too daunting, when we place our trust in the Almighty God. When we surrender our battles to Him, we exchange our weakness for His strength, our inadequacy for His sufficiency. So, let us stand firm in faith knowing that we are not alone in our struggles. For when we are weak, then we are strong in the strength of our God. The fourth reason to give our battles to God stems from His infinite wisdom. In Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6, we are urged, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. These verses remind us of the importance of trusting in God's wisdom rather than relying solely on our limited understanding. When we face challenges and obstacles in life, it's natural to seek answers and understanding. However, we must recognize that our human perspective is limited and we may not always grasp the full picture of God's plan. In those moments, it's essential to surrender our need for control and instead submit to God's wisdom. Rather than trying to figure everything out on our own, we are called to trust in the Lord wholeheartedly. We can take comfort in knowing that God sees the bigger picture and knows what is best for us, even when we cannot comprehend it. So, I encourage you today to release your struggles and uncertainties into the hands of our all-knowing God. Trust that He is working all things together for your good according to His perfect wisdom. When you surrender your battles to Him, He will guide you on the path to victory, leading you in His wisdom and grace. The fifth reason to give our battles to God is rooted in His unwavering faithfulness. As expressed in Lamentations 3, verses 22 and 23, Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for His compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. In a world where circumstances can change in an instant, we find solace in the unchanging nature of God's faithfulness. Throughout history, 
God has demonstrated his steadfast love and faithfulness to his people time and time again. Consider the journey of the Israelites through the wilderness, where God provided for their every need, even in the midst of their disobedience and rebellion. His faithfulness remained constant, leading them with a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Likewise, in our own lives, God's faithfulness is a rock, solid foundation upon which we can build our trust. Whether we are facing financial struggles, health challenges, or relational difficulties, we can find comfort in knowing that God's love never fails. So, when we surrender our battles to God, we do so with the assurance that He is faithful to fulfill His promises. We may not always understand His ways or the timing of His deliverance, but we can trust that He is working behind the scenes, orchestrating His perfect plan for our lives. Therefore, let us hold fast to the truth of God's faithfulness, even in the midst of life's storms. When we entrust our battles to Him, we can rest assured that He will never leave us nor forsake us, but will lead us victoriously through every trial and tribulation. The sixth reason to give our battles to God is grounded in His abundant provision. In Philippians 4, verse 19, we are reminded, And my God will supply every need of yours according to His riches in glory in Christ Jesus. My friends, in the midst of life's challenges and uncertainties, it's easy to become consumed by worry and anxiety about the future. We may find ourselves fretting over our financial situation, our health, or our relationships, wondering how we will ever make it through. But here's the truth. Our God is a provider. He is Jehovah Jireh, the God who sees and provides. Just as He provided for the Israelites in the wilderness and for the widow of Zarephath, He will also provide for each one of us according to His boundless riches in glory. So, I encourage you today to release your worries and fears into the hands of our faithful God. Trust that He knows your needs even before you ask, and that He is working behind the scenes to meet them in ways beyond your imagination. When you surrender your battles to God, you can rest in the assurance that He will never leave you nor forsake you. He is with you in the midst of the storm, guiding you, strengthening you, and providing for you every step of the way. Therefore, let us cast our anxieties and worries upon the Lord, knowing that He cares for us deeply. As you face your battles, remember that you are not alone. God is by your side, ready to supply all your needs and lead you into victory. So, my friends, Trust in His provision, lean on His promises, and walk in faith, knowing that He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. The seventh and final reason to give our battles to God is rooted in His ultimate victory. In 1 Corinthians 15, verse 57, we are reminded, but thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. As believers, we are assured of the victory that is ours through the finished work of Christ on the cross. Through His death and resurrection, Jesus conquered sin, death, and the powers of darkness, securing for us a triumph that transcends any earthly struggle or adversity. Consider the words of Jesus in John 16. Verse 33, In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. These words serve as a source of hope and encouragement for us as we navigate the challenges of life. When we surrender our battles to God, we align ourselves with His victory. We no longer fight in our own strength, but in the power of the one who has already won the ultimate victory for us. Our battles may be fierce, our enemies formidable, but we can take heart knowing that the battle has already been won on our behalf. 
Imagine yourself as a soldier, weary from the battles of life, laying down your weapons at the feet of the Almighty. You're not giving up. You're surrendering to a higher power, to the commander who has already secured the victory. Our battles may be fierce, our enemies formidable, but we can take heart knowing that the battle has already been won on our behalf. Just as the Israelites marched around the walls of Jericho, trusting in God's promise, so too can we march forward in faith, knowing that the walls of our obstacles will come crumbling down at His command. But surrendering to God's victory doesn't mean sitting back and doing nothing. It means trusting in His plan and actively participating in His work. It means putting on the armor of God and standing firm against the schemes of the enemy. It means praying without ceasing, seeking His guidance, and walking in obedience to His Word. So, my friends, as you face your battles, remember that you are not alone. You are part of a victorious army marching forward under the banner of the Most High. Trust in His unfailing love, rely on His strength, and press on with confidence, knowing that He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Therefore, let us stand firm in faith, knowing that nothing can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Let us face our battles with courage and confidence, knowing that we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. So, my friends, as you face your battles, remember that the victory is already yours in Christ. Trust in His unfailing love, rely on His strength, and press on with confidence, knowing that He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Before we conclude, I invite you to join me in a moment of sacred prayer. Let us bow our heads and open our hearts to the presence of our Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with humble hearts, grateful for your presence in our lives and your faithfulness in every season. We thank you for the assurance that when we surrender our battles to you, we align ourselves with your victory. Help us, Lord, to release our fears, anxieties, and burdens into your loving hands. Lord, we acknowledge that we are weak, but you are strong. We confess our need for you, knowing that apart from you, we can do nothing. Strengthen us, O God, with your mighty power, that we may stand firm in the face of adversity and press on toward the prize of your calling. Father, we lift up to you all those who are facing battles and struggles today. Comfort them with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Heal the brokenhearted, provide for the needy, and restore what has been lost. We thank you, Lord, for the victory that is ours in Christ Jesus. May we walk in confidence, knowing that you are with us every step of the way. Guide us, protect us, and lead us into the fullness of your purpose for our lives. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. As we conclude our time together, I want to leave you with this powerful reminder. You are not alone in your battles. Our Heavenly Father stands ready to fight on your behalf, to strengthen you in your weakness, and to lead you to victory. Whatever challenges you may be facing today, I urge you to give them to God. Release them into His capable hands and trust in His unfailing love and faithfulness. Remember, He is the same God who parted the Red Sea, brought down the walls of Jericho, and raised Jesus from the grave. There is no battle too big for him to win on your behalf. So, my friend, do not be afraid to surrender your battles to God. Lay down your worries, your fears, and your doubts at his feet and watch as he works wonders in your life. 
trust in his promises, rely on his strength, and walk forward with confidence, knowing that he is with you every step of the way. As you go from this place, may you carry with you the assurance that you are loved, you are valued, and you are never alone. May you find peace in the midst of the storm, strength in times of weakness, and hope in the promise of God's victory. Give your battles to God and watch as He transforms them into testimonies of His goodness and grace. For in Him, we find our strength, our hope, and our ultimate victory. God bless you abundantly, and may His peace be upon you always. Thank you for joining me today as we explored the powerful truth of surrendering our battles to God. As we conclude our time together, I want to extend a special invitation to you. If you are ready to give your battles to God, if you are ready to trust in His strength and His victory, I invite you to type Amen in the comments below. Additionally, if you have any prayer requests or specific needs that you would like us to lift up in prayer, please feel free to share them in the comments as well. Remember, you are not alone in your struggles, and we are here to support and uplift one another in prayer. Lastly, if you haven't already, I encourage you to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on future messages of encouragement and inspiration. Together, let us journey forward in faith, knowing that God is with us every step of the way. Thank you again for being a part of the community. May the peace of God be with you always. God bless you abundantly.